Alright, what's up everybody, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be checking out Linux Mint. Um, so first off, you got the Linux Mint desktop uh, wallpaper. I think this is awesome. Great desktop wallpaper, I like the 3D and stuff. Um, I think that the user interface is stability wise and polish wise is on par with ubuntu mate although it is in a different realm of desktop interfaces um mainly i would say if uh, someone is coming from windows they should definitely start out with this but if they're coming from something like mac os then this is like a no-go it'll be very confusing for them how the menus work sometimes although i will say the system settings is probably one of the best settings i have seen with how everything is laid out and you can even search the settings here and everything like that that's actually pretty cool uh, office it actually comes with i think this is all of the LibreOffice applications um I think Ubuntu does come with them, but you have to start up a few of them through uh, some of the other LibreOffice applications. Um, you got logout, you got lock screen, and quit. The terminal is really nice. I like how it's it's transparent. Uh, pretty cool for it to be transparent there. Um, it is based off of Ubuntu, uh, and you can tell with how some things work. Uh, I like how uh, these are separate down here, like the volume and the network and the clock are separate. And then there's the updater, which is really nice. It seems like um, Linux Mint takes a lot of the user interfaces and stuff, and it doesn't necessarily copy from Windows, but it uh, it uses the same fundamentals as many Windows applications do in the way the actual app looks. Um, and that's mainly just the apps that, uh, the stock Linux Mint applications. And then I like how they all have uh, different icons for the applications. I really like how this menu works. It's sort of like the XFCE thing and uh, the menu a few of the other um, desktop environments use uh, it's it's very similar to those but it's it looks more refined in my opinion uh, stuff like the what did I just open all right let's see what I just opened here all right, I opened Firefox okay so Firefox actually looks pretty cool too um, automatically opens up in the Linux mint start page that's uh, pretty interesting here. Looks like an uh, old school web browsing page. <laughs> Alright. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is really refined. If you are coming from Mac OS, it would be much easier to get used to Linux Mint. This is the Cinnamon desktop version, specifically. It would be much easier to get used to this than it would be to get used to many different of, many of the XFCE menus. Uh, such as the menu used in um, Ubuntu Studio. Um, so I would also like to say that today I was actually planning on doing an Arch Linux review, but I was having problems getting that installed onto a virtual machine. Uh, I don't know when I will end up doing an Arch Linux review, but I will do one sometime. Uh, just not right now due to some problems that I've had. So the file manager is really nice. I, I really like the file manager here. It's better than Nautilus, uh, definitely. It, it looks more like the Windows one. I mean, obviously, a lot of this, uh, a lot of this looks like it's, it gets its inspiration from uh, certain Windows uh, design fundamentals. Um, but it also tries to keep its own uh, its own sort of experience to it, and that is definitely there. It feels like a totally different thing other than Windows. It's not just some knockoff, and it's also not just a reskin of Ubuntu. It's pretty much its own 
Linux distro, and I really like to see that in um, a lot of the distros because most of them are based off of Ubuntu, and many of them uh, just feel like Ubuntu reskins and knockoffs of either macOS or Windows. Um, and this totally does not feel like they're copying straight off of Windows, but it feels like they're trying to make it feel like Windows without making it um, feel like Windows, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's, it's really nice. I'm, I might try this out. Um, I would probably... Most things I will be, I, I, I probably would rank this above Manjaro in a uh, best Linux distro list. Um, just because of the uh, polish of it, it's, it's really nice. But uh, yeah, um, anything else I need to go over in this? I don't think there is a whole lot to go over. As this was really, it's really just like me just really quickly checking it out. Um, text editor. I, I really like the icons. I've got to say that. That's really nice. Love the icons. They're uh, sort of, like, they, they definitely put thought into these icons. And they're not just using the stock icons uh, like some distributions use. Um... Ubuntu is starting to get out of using the stock icons for everything. I think they still use the stock uh, Firefox icon. But, uh, yeah. Alright, everybody. I think that is all I wanted to cover in this video. Um, hope you all liked the video, and I'll see you all in the next video.